freaks. We are getting set up for this workout. I'm going to do a live video here, a full live video of the entire warm up. So I'll be moving the camera around with me as I'm going. A full video of the warm up. I have a foam roller here, a stretch strap, and then I'll be using some exercise bands right there to get the shoulders, chest, back, by try the whole body warmed up. And then I'll cut this video. This will be as a separate warm up video, and then there'll be a video for the entire strength training circuit workout that I do with the free family as they arrive. So I'll talk you through it while we're doing this stuff. Some of the sets, I'll just be in there banging the, bang, slanging the freaking steel. But for now, I'll try to always position this. Instagram has these weird, or it's up and down, so sometimes you're not gonna be able to see everything. So I'll try to stay in the camera as much as possible. Of course, I got the Herbalife and Trulene pre-workout concoction to kick things off, so make sure you have your proper nutrition, proper pre-workout, and hydration. So I'm literally getting ready for strength training routine. I go through this entire ritual every time. Of course, have my pre-workout. What's up, Ion Sports? Ion Sports. Yes, you should be wanting to work. We're about to go a full warm up right here. And then an entire full training session with just dumbbells, just a basic pair of dumbbells, all you need. So we're gonna start foam rolling though. This Instagram is long, so I'm gonna st I always start on the neck. On the neck, and I'm literally just rolling across the neck, up and down the side, the base of the skull, rolling side to side on my neck. Especially I have a fucked up neck from jujitsu years ago, literally, I don't even know, over 10 years ago since I fucked it up. And still, screwed up, but whatever. We deal with it, we work around, we don't be little bitches and make excuses. Now we're gonna roll the upper back, working the whole way down on the foam roller. Just put the hood on so it doesn't get in the way. I'm not trying to look cool working out. Roll those, the hood does warm you up sometimes. What's up, freak? Freaks are home from school. Literally, he dumps his backpack down and he comes right into the garage. Doesn't even go in the house, straight from school. Doing a, a live video for just a warm up here. Tyson's getting ready to roll. Chomping on some snacks, probably in the car. Probably some gummy worms or some shit. So now we're rolling the back, the entire length of the back, from the upper back to the lower back, full thing. And just a few times, doesn't have to be a ton. Right away, going into the glute. Crossing one leg over the other. The leg that's crossed over the top is the side I'm gonna lean into for the glute, going down the elbow, upper, outer part of the glute, and just rolling it. Right here. Digging in, playing around it, playing with the different angles. Good luck up my ass crack. And then just flipping right over the other side, same thing. Not crossing right over left. Well, now you're really looking at my ass crack. Upper outer part of the hip, upper outer part of the glute. Just digging out the knots, getting ready. We're gonna be doing some squats, some deadlifts, just light, just mix into a circuit. Now we're gonna go on the side of the thigh. Just so gonna put this right in the middle of the thigh. Halfway from the hip to the knees, and I can roll one stride from my right above my knee to right below the hip without having to move this arm. So I can just pull myself the full length of my upper leg right here. Just a few times. Just to be smooth, I'm gonna go right to the center now, right onto the quads. First, I actually go right here and I just stretch my hip out. Let's open up the hips if it's gonna lower back. Ah. And then roll the quads, both quads together. No. While you're rolling both quads, turn one leg out to get the inner part of the thigh right above the knee, right here. Right above the knee, there's a spot. You'll feel, you turn the knee out. A little slab of meat, little bit slab of meat that's always stiff and tight. And then go on to the other side. And then we need to go to the other, th other side of the leg. From knee to hip. One smooth roll. So you have to crawl the arm up. Straight across. You could also do hamstrings, calves. If you're gonna do that, you need to go right here and hold yourself up. You need to cross one leg over the other to get more weight on the hamstring. I don't do the hamstrings and calves too much on the roller, unless they're overly sore from like a long, weird training session, but you would just do it here like that. Calves, when they're tight and you put the weight of the other leg on top of it, you'll feel it. Calves and feet, you could also use a golf ball, lacrosse ball, whatever. So that's that. We're going straight to the stretch strap. Stretch strap, putting the foot in, the bottom loop. And you can use anything, a rope, whatever. Going flat on the back. I'm gonna back up so you can see this a little bit better. 
So the one leg, my right leg is straight. This is the right leg in the air. I know Instagram's all backwards and shit. This leg is bent. I'm gonna go five stretches. Pulling that stretch in the hamstring. See, I'm going active stretching, getting legs ready to move. Five stretches with this other leg bent. After five, I'm gonna straighten this other leg. So you get a different angle on the hip. To open it up, start loosening up this side. Stretch it up for five, about five, whatever. Now I'm gonna hold this up high with the opposite hand. I'm gonna put this other arm out to the side and I'm gonna rotate across here. From the middle, rotate it across. Stretching out here, upper, outer, part of the hip, and glute. And just five each. We're gonna get plenty of standing stretches while we're rolling. Now we're gonna go across here, inner thigh, hold with the same arm. This other arm is out anchoring you. Straight across. Stretching the inner thigh, the groin. And one more, I'm gonna cross this leg over, pull this strap, and pull this leg back. It's a cross leg stretch. I'm pulling the strap and pulling this shin at the same time to get this outer hip on this side. You can see when I switch the other side. Left side, you can see the side a little better, a little different. Straight leg, stretch it up. See this other leg is bent. Pay attention, just fives, stretching. Yes, this stuff is needed, this stuff works, this stuff helps get prepared, helps not get injured, helps go strong, helps recovery afterwards. Going five and get the leg straight. It's not crazy, it's not psychotic, it's not the usual stuff, stuff you're used to, but this gets done every fucking workout. Religiously, this is a ritual, it gets done. That foam roller, this stretch strap, no matter what the workout is, this stuff gets done. Five across, and now five out. Working on my splits. I used to be a gymnast. If you didn't know, I used to be a gymnast. Really? Fuck no. Do I look like a damn gymnast to you? <laughs> I look like a freaking gymnast. And then cross the legs. I'm crossing this over. I'm gonna pull this back. I'm gonna push with my elbow here to open up this hip and glute while I'm pulling this strap that's still around the foot. Tap it down, breathe. So that's foam roller, stretch strap, going to the exercise band. Do you want me to bring a stand? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be moving around for all these different exercises, but yeah, bring it anyway. So now we're gonna go with these exercise bands. Where are we gonna put this right here? Put it right there, this should work for now. Let's see. So start rotator cuff, it's a thin band. Little pink band. Yes, I'm using a pink band. Start with my right arm rotating in. Get the better one, that's the plus one. That was the There's five more there. Going right because I'm so dark in this angle. We'll get the other one. Rotating across, right arm in. Just going about six or eight each. Then I'm going to flip around. Left arm going in. Just getting a rotator cuff, loosened up, warmed up. Then I'm going to stay right here, switch back to my right arm, and now I'm going out. So the band is over there. Going right arm out. Loosen up deep inside this shoulder. Now I'm going to flip all the way around and go left arm out. It's a dark shadow there because the light is behind me, but I'm going to switch that up for you in a second. Put it on there. Come on, go on. Let's go. Put on. Just don't turn it off. I'm going left arm out. Now I'm going to go right arm. Going forward, Tyson's gonna move that. Right arm going forward. First I'm gonna stretch out, and I'm gonna, oh, fuck yeah, stretch out. And now rotating forward, right arm. I'm hitting those buttons. Right arm going forward. Tyson's putting you up on a stand. He's making us all fucking seasick. <laughs> right arm go forward, and then left arm stretch, and go forward. I'm chasing the camera. You just broke the fucking thing. One time. Another stand. Just look. And Tyson just broke the stand. Put it back there. Really. It's really dark. Now I'm going to go right arm going back. See, and I'm rotating back. So I'm hitting in all different directions. I went right arm, side forward, side back. Now up. Right arm to the side, going in and out. Now right arm up. Going in and out. And that is the official pre warm up 
There still will be warm-ups of standing, moving, stretching, stretching the shoulders, the chest, stretching the, the legs, moving around during the workout in between the sets. But that is just the pre-warm-up. That was the foam roller, the stretch strap, and the... Oh, not done. Sorry, I lied. That was just the rotator cuff. I got to do all the exercise band exercises. So now I'm do all the major movements that we're about to do in the workout. Starting with the chest press. Single arm. I like single arm in the workout so I can focus on balance. Gives me a little extra time. So I'm just going to go 10 on this chest press. Rotating it or pushing it forward, pressing it forward. Just getting the chest, the shoulders, the tries, ready to go. Put this thing on the stand. Please. Left arm. And don't break this stand. Now he's going to put on another stand. Let's see how many stands we can crush in one day. They were like plastic chips flying. I was doing this set and I had to duck because a plastic chip came, fl chip came flying in my eyeball. So left arm. Going with a chest press. Let's move this with better lighting because that is... Wow, it was an ugly close-up right up my nose hairs. But I'm gonna move it, I'm moving this stand around, so get a different stand if you're planning on. I'm gonna have to move the pull-ups and angle it for presses. Now we're gonna flip around and do rows. Right here, right on pulling back. Yeah, how did you catch up there, sucker? Right arm row. We're just hitting 10 of each of these. Just getting all the major muscles moving. Left arm row, pulling it straight back. Yes, this whole warm-up gets done every single time. Now right arm chest flag. Right arm is out to the side, so the band is attached over there, and just squeeze it in. Squeeze and dig. It could be six, eight, ten. Like some of these single arm, single joint movements, I'll do even less reps. Six or eight or whatever. Left arm, squeeze it in. Now we're gonna do right arm pullovers. These ones I just do five or six. Unless I'm making it part of the actual workout a more. Just pull them straight down to the side. Pour up the lats at the tries. Left arm pull over. Pull them straight down. Right arm bicep. Right here. Hand comes to the ear. Ooh, pump it. The curls for the girls. Left arm. Squeeze it. This one we're just doing six. Just get the joints moving. Bent over. Tricep. And quit looking at my ass. Instagrams. Kick it back, stand straight in between, so not stuck in that position, and right to the other side, left arm. Try some kick back. I was gonna tweak from all those pushes just a little bit. And that is the full warm up. And yes, that entire circuit, that ritual gets done every single workout. It gets modified sometimes slightly depending on if it's weightlifting or cardio, but all those muscles need to get warmed up every time, every workout. Foam roller, the stretch strap, the light band for the rotator cuff and then the heavier band for the actual movements gets done. And that's just the pre warm up to the warm up just to get the body functional so that you can prevent injuries, get the blood flowing, get those muscles moving before you get to the craziness. And it makes, helps keep you sustainable and not fuck things up over time. I'm gonna stop this video for the warm up and start another live video right now for the actual full workout that we're going to get set up on with dumbbells and mixing in some pull-ups. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.